everybody, look, a box has just arrived by UPS and it looks like a collection has come in. And I haven't gotten a collection in like 45 days, maybe a month, it seems like. Could have been sooner than that, but I don't remember. But I can never wait for the next one to come in. I just love every collection, every collection. Let's get this open and see what we've got. We got a lot of packing peanuts, well that's good. That's good. Oh, look at that, what's that? Oh, looks like the heavyweights are packed separately. Oh, look at that, oh yes! A carry case, a carry case of Hot Wheels, yay! And I've got a few of these for sale, by the way, if you need one. And, oh, and, 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 and. Somebody really packed these up good. Oh my goodness, it's the giant rally case. The giant rally case, yay. And I've got some of those for sale too. Although they're kind of hard to sell because the box takes to ship cases are so big that the postage is exorbitant. Like, like, <laughs> exorbitant like bounty. Oh dear, that's not a funny joke, I don't think. That's, are we zoomed in, what are we? We need to zoom out, let's see. Wait a minute, no, that's in. Go out. All right, this is funny. All these, uh, I don't even remember what all's in here. Oh, look at that. I might lose something down in here. It's always fun. When was the last time that you got in a box and had to go through all the foam packing and get everything out? You know, you gotta make sure you Got some goodies in there. Every collection has some goodies, some baddies. I think this one, uh, like most collections, 68s, there's a few of them, but they're, they're not in great shape, but they're in there. And the 70s are pretty good. Got some heavyweights, there's a couple heavyweights that look pretty good to me in the pictures. Oh, what's that? That feels like a funny money, but I don't recall there being a funny money in here. I just love digging through here. Oh, there's another one. There's another. It's like Christmas, except except the bills comes due right away, not next month. Oh, all right, I'll be back up here. Oh, it's shaky cam. Oh, you know, I remember back one time I made a video where I dove the camera into the packing peanuts. That was pretty funny. Uh, there's a lot. Oh, there's more cars than I thought, I guess. Now when I looked at the pictures, I kind of added up, I usually uh, take a look at the cars and I figure out like where they fit in the value grid. And um, you know, you start with the most expensive or most valuable models and you gotta pay a pretty fair price for the expensive models because anybody would buy the expensive ones. And then there's the medium price range ones. Which, you know, you got to get a fair price on those, and then there's the low-range ones, which you don't really want to get stuck with anyway, so those are the least of it. I don't think there's anything else in here. All right, all right. Let's go over here, set up, and start opening the packages. I think this is going to be a two-part video, so it's going to take a little while to make it, and it's going to take you a while to watch it, so hang in there. All right, I think what I'm going to do is uh, untape a few at a time and then get them out. Oh, these are, uh, wow, well, that's cool. These are actually bags. Holy smokes, those are cool. I'll be able to use those real well. All right, first one out is a Lotus Turbine, a common aqua. But look at that. It's got nicely placed. Let's see, how do we get the light in here? Huh, you know, it seems dark in the uh, camera there. And I've got all these lights on. I've got lights coming from just about everywhere. Behind me, beside me, above me. Try to lift this one up a little bit higher. And this one over here, okay. A lot of shadows, oh well. Anyway, that's that's actually looks pretty nice. Now they're always kind of rubbed on the window there and the wheels are nice, so it didn't get played with very much. So that's number one, number one. Boy, I'm loving these little, these, these uh, bubble wrap bags. Here is a fire engine cab. It's okay shape, not great. Probably has a fire engine there somewhere. Here's one that I was really looking forward to, the scooper. 
I haven't had a scooper in a while, and I really like the light green on the scooper. A little dull on the base there. Looks like it has some glue or something on there, but I think it's just a casting flaw. And this is intact, that's good. So that's a nice piece. A light green scooper, and I have not had a scooper for some time. So I'm happy with that one. Reaching over here to get my high powered lenses. Let's see, did I open up anymore? Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause, take some tape off, and I'm gonna try to save this tape because I've got a lot of, uh, a lot of car waxing to do here in the next few days and you know you gotta tape off the door handles if you really want to do it right so I'm gonna save this tape all right we're ready with a couple more oh snorkel all right snorkel hey we are intact we are intact with the snorkel green snorkel just a little dusty actually on the white there otherwise that would be a little brighter than that a little dusty but that is in good shape and I have again have not have any snorkels for a while. I'm oh, happy to get that. The heavyweights are, you know, it's hard to get them really, it really is. It really, really is, truly. And now, the next one up is a Rocket by Baby. Rocket by Baby. Now this is really dull, but you know this top piece here, if you take a jeweler's rouge to that, or some type of polish, you can actually get that to mirror up. Nice and shiny. If you need to do that sort of thing, I kind of like it that way. A little shiny. Alright, next one up is a cement mixer. <clears throat> oh, that's a good one. Near mint condition, just some light chips. Looks like it might have a nick in the windshield there. Not terrible. But a nice barrel, nice and orange. A little dusty. But that will clean up nice. It's kind of a car like this or a truck like this. It's really actually more of an excellent near mint you'd have to have about half that many nicks on it a little more shine but uh you know excellent shape this is um about as good as you can expect to get in most collections now there are collections of much finer condition but they're few and far between and as collectors we like to save all those cars for ourselves here we've got the rolls royce every collection comes with the rolls royce this one with white interior so that's a little better and then it's the wheels are missing all their chrome, so it's a little little lesser, but a nice looking one. Typically, if um, if I had a one with a gray interior or dark interior with the same condition or a lesser condition with better wheels, I just go ahead and swap those over. Hong Kong hubs, they just they change right out, no problem. As long as you go with the originals, that's fine, fine. Gotta be careful though, you can damage things too. Here we've got a fuel tanker, missing one tire, no problem. We got a bunch of tires. Always have tires on hand. It looks like the tubes are good, the fuelers. And this is just a little dusty. Just needs a little cleanup, and that'll look just fine. Excellent condition. Intact. Very nice. A lot of people take that racing fuel, race. they take the racing fuel body there, and they put a uh, dump truck on the back of it, and they call it rare. It would be rare if it was an original blister pack, but that I haven't seen before. Original blister pack. You know, I'm gonna put these out here like this. See what I'm doing with this tape? You can't see it, but I'm, I'm uh, kind of adding them on, uh, staggered so that I can pull them back off again and use them. Well, let's take a look and see how this yellow sea cider came through. There's the boat. Oh, good color. Really good color for yellow. It's always something though with Hot Wheels, you know, you get a really good color, you're like, finally, really good color on a yellow seasider. And then you find out that, oh, the grill's crooked and it's got all these doohickeys on it, which I will leave. I used to take them off, but that's too much trouble. But really, this has got wonderful color for a yellow. You just don't see yellow that, that, that good. That is really good. No toning at all on that one. That's pretty nice, actually. I like that. I like that. And some people do like those, uh, those decos, the decos, the decorations. We'll just put this down here. I think that'll work. If I stagger this tape uh, here and there, I'll be able to take it out to the car and tape off the door handle so I can run the buffer over the car. Here we got a green heavyweight cab. All right, green heavyweight cab, not great. I have a lot of not great cabs around. And, uh, you know, problem is sometimes the cab won't be good, but the 
the back will be good so I save the back and match it up with a different cab. You know, a little mix and match and then you end up with random pieces here and there. Here we've got a Rose Harry Holler, it's 1971. Nice color, light toning, motor's not too bad, it's actually in pretty good shape. Somewhere between excellent, possibly near mint on this one. Yeah, possibly near mint on that one because hardly any chips and the color is good. Of course, now the highest rating is mint minus and uh, probably not going to be anything in this collection that gets up that high, but we can hope. And we can hope for the price of this collection. Should be something great in here somewhere. All right, here we got a U.S. Mail Truck Special Delivery 1971. Now, 71 models tended not to get played with that much, so they're typically in pretty good shape. This is real nice shape. I see a nick there. Yeah, well, there you go, right off the bat. It might be mint minus, although the stickers, they got extra stickers. That's interesting. And they put them on there. This one is supposed to go here, the dashboard. Special delivery, I think, it's supposed to go right there. But um, it's a nice shape. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I don't have any right now, I don't think. They don't they go out. They're pretty popular. 71s, you know, you wouldn't think they were that pop popular. They're not like 68s, of course, but then people clamor after 68s because they're just not out there. And that is why they clamor after them. And there's a word that I don't think people use that word, clamor. What do we got here? We got a paddy wagon. Every collection comes with a paddy wagon in excellent condition or good condition with the roof, with the window back on the roof. Actually, the window's supposed to go up underneath that click, I think. That's the way I always put it. I always pull them out and back under that. There we go. Is that the way it's supposed to be? That's the way I always thought it was supposed to be. Very good, very good. All right, all right, I think I'll go unwrap. All right, first one out of the gate. On this batch, a fire department. First thing you want to check, whoops, come on. First thing you want to check on the fire department is to make sure if those four nipples are there. And the ladder, of course, the ladder. And that the stickers are in good shape. Now this is a very, very nice uh, rear piece of fire engine, so I would probably save this to put with a nicer condition cab that maybe had those broken. Decent shine on that as well. Wouldn't make sense to put it together with a one that's got that many chips on it. That's a real nice fire cab or fire bag. Fire bag? What do I call that anyway? Hmm. I don't know. And here we got the moving van back. This one's all yellow, yellowed. Good bottom on it. No corrosion. That's good. But it is yellowed. So that one can, um, it's got the ribby back. Some of them are smooth on the back. That's a little harder to find. Also comes in gray. We'll put that on with the moving van over there. Next one up, a Mod Quad. Mod Quad blue. There's a lot of Mod Quad blues. This one's in pretty good shape. Excellent, I'd say. Decent, decent. Mod Quad blues. I had like four of those for sale recently. Yeah, I think I still have three of them. And this one I was looking forward to. Magenta Jet Threat. Magenta Jet Threat. With decent stickers, even. This one's a little loose, but that could be laid down, cleaned up a little bit. Very nice. This one's nice. Just got very teeny tiny wear. Near mint, definitely. Possibly mint minus. Get the dust off of it, and then you'll see how nice it is. Look at that. It's beautiful. That is one I was looking forward to. There's always some some things that make you want to buy the collection. So far, that one, that one. All right, racing team trailer. Of course, racing team trailer is always good. This one's a little dull on the base. So there's a cab in here somewhere, probably a white cab. All right, next batch, we've got a dump truck with an orange and yellow dumper, aqua in color. Looks like about near mid condition. Again, a little dusty. Needs a little, just a little wipe down with a little, with a damp rag and an air compressor. She'll look she looked just fine, just fine. Okay, and there's the white cab for the team trailer. Team trailer, I believe, comes with either a white cab or red cab. I, uh, years ago, decided that I wanted a team trailer with every possible color of cab. Uh, maybe I'll 
like five colors, but I don't have the purple or the light green, I think. Those are the hard ones. Okay, we've got an aqua tow truck in reasonable condition. Not too bad, not too bad. And this was one of the nicest cars in the lot. A beautiful red bug eye. Beautiful, look at that red bug eye. That is pretty. That is that is beautiful paint. I hope you can see it the way I see it. It is nice. That's really nice. I love that. It's just double dark, no toning. That's a nice one. I really looked forward to that one. And now a twin mill, 69 twin mill aqua. Decent shape, play wear, excellent, fair to excellent, yeah, excellent. As long as it's decent, I'll just call it excellente. Now, we're doing the ones with tissue and tape. I hope the ones in the cases don't have tape on them. It's just too much tape, too much tape. Here we got a red split image, your real basic condition. This one is like, yeah, you know, not great. It's not the kind of cars that I would buy. When I find people sometimes will show me collections of little cars that are dull and it's just not enough interesting cars for me. And then I have a friend in Toledo, Ohio that I send those people to and he will buy their collections. Because you know, it's not easy getting people to send you uh, collection offers. And um, I get them all the time, but I can't buy them all. I gotta have something I like in it, like a blue 57 T-Bird. And nice, nice shape. Look at that matching hood. Anytime I see a T-Bird with a matching hood, I'm going to be excited. No doubt. Definitely. It's just something to get excited about. Base is okay, not great. The wheels are nice. All around, look at that. That's a beauty. Yeah, I like matching hoods. It's hard to get a matching hood on a T-Bird, believe me. Believe me now. How does that saying go? Hans and Franz? Believe me now. Hear me later. Hear me now and believe me later. Something like that from Saturday Night Live years ago. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. Purple Ford Mark IV. Hmm, that's actually in really nice shape. Actually, the stickers kind of make it look in lesser shape than it actually is. Boy, hard to know whether to leave those stickers stripes and stickers on there or not because that would look really pretty without them uh, that's a lot of work to get them off but it is such a pretty car I like a grape purple hmm that's a conundrum that is a conundrum okay you know I could just cut these couldn't I Rip them out. There we go. Oh, what's this? Dodge Charger. Oh, brother. That's not a red line. Throw that in a junk box. Junk box, baby. That's not even... A, and I do like the Dodge Charger. Oh, by the way. So, they make a lot... Of, of course, makes a lot of things like Dodge Charger. It's ugly, but guess what? They can make a beautiful one, too. Look at that. Yeah, now we're talking. Yeah. Why... Why do they even bother to make crap like that when they can make them beautiful like this all the time? That is a fabulous, fabulous car. The only thing that would make that better is if somebody touched up all the headlights and whatnot. All right, what have we got? Oh, this one's got some other kind of tape on it. It's always so exciting to unwrap a collection. What is it? Ice blue Porsche. No, it doesn't come in that color but it is light green which is a good color for the Porsche 917 this one's got light toning dull base big chip still a decent looking car Porsche is a real popular light greens a tougher color to get so that's decent there's a lot of just uh, you know run-of-the-mill cars in this lot which is fine fine hardest part anymore buying collections is that you know there's so many guys out there that are buying them Pushing up the prices every day. Holy smokes, these things are expensive now. I feel stupid. I mean, I, literally, I feel stupid when I make an offer on a collection because they're just so expensive. And by the way, where is my wide angle? I guess I don't get wide angle in high definition. Oh, well. Oh, well. Just keep talking. Keep showing. Let's see what we got. A Boss Haas here in, in, in a super dirty condition. I think it'll actually look all right once you get all the dirt off of it. But, uh... Yeah, the wheels are decent. 
Yeah, that's going to look all right. Excellent little dull motor, but the chrome will probably be all right. It's got a little sandy texture to the uh, chrome. That's all right. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. And then, uh, yeah, pretty good. And we'll move these out of the way and we'll get started on some more. It's tough. Check my time. Might be running overtime. This might be three. Oh, look at that. Magenta Ferrari. Magenta Ferrari. That's a nice one. <clears throat> Isn't that nice? Yeah, that's a good one. Let's see. Is that... Uh-oh. El Broco. That's too bad. Got a loose pin or a broken pin or something. That happens. That's part of the pitfalls of buying a collection. You never know. All right, everybody. Let's end it there for this uh, part one of a three-part red line collection reveal thanks for joining me and be sure to check out my website www.toycarcollector.com where lots of red lines are for sale and there'll be more red lines every day and when i get out of this uh, summer vacation uh, brain fog of mine and i will be listing 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 all right see you in the next video coming right up all right bye